This is a quick video of our Excel macros. In this video, I want to show you how to make a simple, very simple pump animation where you can actually have a button that turns on a pump and a button that turns off the pump. So let's get started. So we're going to just say, we're going to say J11 is our pump area. So we want to merge and center this. So this, this cell will actually represent our pump. So if we actually make that a little block, I know it's not really dealing with the macros yet, but let's just add in a few other things. A shape, an arrow. So we have an arrow. So now, make all the outside of this, make the outside just white. Whoops. Make it just white. So now, let's make it where we add in a button that will make it green and red. So it'll actually look like a little pump animation. So we'll go to go to Microsoft Excel options, and we'll make sure we have Show Developer Tab ribbon checked. Click OK, and then go to Developer, and go to Visual Basics, and now we're in the playground. This is where we write our code. So what I want you to do is go to this little window and right click, and go Insert to Module. So now we have a little module where we can actually write our code. And I want you to write sub. Now, we want to name our subroutine. I'm just going to say pump on. Pump on. Then we add brackets. And now we have a subroutine. So whenever we call pump on, pump on, whoops. Whenever we call pump on, the code between sub and n sub will be performed. So what I want to do is go to our little cell, and I want to make it red. Or actually, I want to make it green. So we want to make cell J11 green. So we do that by saying range R cell. There's, there's a lot of ways of actually doing this. But we're going to say range J11 dot interior. And in Excel, that gives you all these different options we can play around with. But we're going to go to interior dot color index, and we're going to say it is equal to four. I believe four makes it green. So right now it's white, and if we click play, it should be green. So now it's green. What we want to do next is copy and paste this. Copy and paste this. Change the name of the subroutine to off. We want to make this three. I believe when it's three, it's red. And now if we click play, it should be red. So now how do we make it like a little pump? So we'll go to insert, and we're going to insert a control, a form control, and it's just a little button right there. So we'll click insert, whoops, right there. And now we can assign it a macro. And those are the subroutines we just wrote. We're going to have this one be on. We'll click OK, and we'll click, or right-click and uh, name it on. So now when we click it, it makes it green. We'll do the same thing by inserting another button. Insert another button, and we'll go off. And we'll say that one is off. So now we have a simple little animation for a pump. So let's actually have the pump say on and off, on and off. So we'll go to Visual Basics again, and we'll copy this part, range, dot, and we'll say value, so the value of the cell is equal to on for that. So now it will say on when we click that. Copy, oops, copy and paste. So now it should say on and off. Oh, and I didn't edit it. So that should be off. So on and off. And let's actually change the color of that to black. And make it a little bigger. And bold it. So let's actually change the background of that color. It's not really... Um, So yeah, I'd say that's good. So there you have it, a very simple little pump animation. 
In the next video, I'll actually show you how to have this actually fill up a tank. Not the tank animation itself, but how to actually show you how to add in, say, when this pump is on every second, add in three liters of fluid to this tank. I'll show you how to do that in the next video.